Hello everyone, ready for the autumn? Today I'm gonna talk about Mobile Connect. Sorry, I was not even able to hear my voice with that music. So, SMS. Did you know that SMS are still one of the favorite channels for transactional and commercial messages? And the MarTech revolution is actually extending their usage to many different cases. You don't trust me, eh? So let's have a look at some numbers. SMS are still one of the channels with the highest open rate. When used as a touch point to collect more information and increase engagement, they perform really well. Statistics say that the usage of SMS is constantly increasing, despite of a huge number of applications providing instant messaging services. Why? Simple. If you send an SMS, your contacts don't need an app nor a smartphone to be reached. Today, the users having a WhatsApp account are less than half of the ones having a mobile phone. Now, let me show you how the marketing technology is using SMS for different cases. You can confirm a registration or you can send an order confirmation with the details of the tracking. You can send a purely outbound commercial or you can engage your contacts with bi-directional communication for letting them get gifts and discounts. You can spread security guidelines on how to keep your contacts account secure or you can implement a multi-factor authentication. You can also collect information by the interaction with your contacts. It is usually called progressive profiling. You can also have more complex scenario where an incoming SMS will trigger actions in external systems through API. When using SMS, it's always good to get the explicit permission from your contacts, to be clear about the reason why you are contacting them, to clarify the frequency of the SMS you'll send, state if they will be anyhow impacted economically, and to provide an opt-out option and respect out-of-office hours. But let's focus on how SMS work in Marketing Cloud. The life cycle starts with the creation of the SMS, where a marketer can add personalization before sending the message. Once the message is sent, the SMS is delivered to an aggregator system that will forward it to the appropriate local carrier for the final delivery. As you can see, there are many actors involved, but it's totally transparent for a marketing cloud user. How can marketing cloud interact with a carrier? You have to enable mobile codes that you can control for Marketing Cloud. The type of codes available strongly depend on the country you want to send the message to. Short codes, called also local codes, enable 100% of the features for the SMS. Long codes, called international codes, have more limitations. Short code can be expensive and with a long activation time. Long codes are fairly quick and sometimes included in your license. They support also multi-country sendings. SMS can be used for marketing automation and as an activity that you can drag and drop into your journey. The message can be created in Content Builder or directly inside the journey. Each message can be used for as many journeys as you need. Here's the activity. If you have in place your SMS strategy, now it's time to measure the results. There are four reports available in Analytics Builder with information about the opt-ins, message sent, volumes, keywords, and contents. And now, let's go to some advanced information and cool suggestion. I'll let you read it. Thanks a lot for watching this video and cheers from your marketing cloud brother.